Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Thank you for you guys' time. Thank you for tuning in with us. Hope you guys enjoy this episode. Whatever you guys ready, bro. Yeah, that's it. All right, ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready. What's up? You're watching Mr. Spirit behind the Clippers. I'm right here with Eddie. Wallow in the cut like what? It's the floor money. You yep. already know. I got my guy here today, man. Um, well-known barber in the industry. Been around for years. Mostly well-known for his graphics, the barber competitions. I got him working here at my shop now, and it took a little while to get him over here, and it's an honor, man. And it's an honor to have you over here. It's an honor to be here. Well, man. So let's get into it, bro. Uh, why don't you tell us your story, how you got started, man? Well, I started cutting hair in 1998. I lived in Cicero basically all my life, but I've been bounced around from shop to shop to one of the first shops that opened up to one of the best shops out there, you know what I'm saying? To, you know, now that there's a bunch of shops, a bunch of barbers, so it's a, it's a pleasure to be here, you know what I'm saying? With you, Mr. Superior, and everybody else that's works here, you feel me? What were some of the shops that you uh, that, that, that you started working at, man? The first shop I started working at was a shop called um, Sheer Delight. It was on 18th and Cicero. And then I went to another shop um, on Archer and Lockwood. And that used to be called Got You Faded. And then um, I went to Exclusive, you know, which was one of the other great shops that opened up in Cicero, which was one of actually the first shops that opened up in Cicero. It was called Marcos at first, and then eventually it turned into Exclusive. You know, and then after that, you know, I just went from there to Millennium, to Ace of Fades, to Hall of Fades. The rest is history, man, yeah, yeah. O man. Official cuts in the south side. You know, Hall of Fades was in the north side by by Lake and 25th. And obviously official cuts on Southwest Highway and uh, Harlem. More of the story is you've been around everywhere, bro. You cut all over the city, man. All over yes. Chicago, man. Yes. What was it that, 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 that made you pop out bro and when was it that, that, it that everybody known. knew that you were <clears throat> that everybody knew that you were the man you know well it was i want to send a quick shout out to the godfather you know what i'm saying because i specialize in graphics and i took a lot in from 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 him from working next to him you know for a few years at when we were at a uh, Marcos. Once I seen how he was doing his graphics, because I was already doing graphics, but they weren't, they didn't have a style. They didn't have uh, uh, like a contour, or you know what I'm saying? It was just like all over the place. It wasn't no social media or anything like that to promote yourself. So everything that I, that I did had to be at 100% at perfection. Right. You know, because if not, people wouldn't come to you. <clears throat> word, so of, then, word of mouth was, was heavy. Well, well, so it was all word of mouth and you know what I'm saying? Uh, from being at that shop, Marco's one of the first shops to open in that area in Cicero. It, it kind of like made a big name for itself. There was a lot of other barbers too that, that made a big name for Marco's, you know, at the time. We were young and, you know, it just took off. You know what I'm saying? The graphics, we were doing so many haircuts a day and the way of putting your work out there was on people's heads. So then everybody just started noticing, like, damn, who gave you those cold ass graphics? Right. My specialty was, you know, doing graphics and stuff like that. So that's what actually put my name out there. And then after that, that's when a lot of people just started, you know, mimicking the same thing, you know, doing, trying to copy and, sh and stuff like right. that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you made yourself pop out with the graphics and, and many people weren't doing it before the way you're doing it. Now graphics are out there. Everybody's doing graphics. Um, what would you, what, what advice would you give to a young barber starting off that wants to pop out in this game and wants to do their thing? Well, a lot of barbers can tell you that are in the game, that are heavy in the graphic game. You just gotta be unique, but also you gotta be clean. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, try not to cut nobody. Try not to, you know what I'm saying? Use too much dye, make it pop out without the dye. So like that, when they go home, it doesn't wash off. Do a graphic where it stands out and it's clean. You know, right. where, you know what I'm saying? You don't need to do too much, you know, to make it pop out. As long as it's something either small or big, 
it has to be clean. What you taught me the other day when we were doing, when I was over here doing working on the cut, just to use water with the graphics, bro. How much cleaner, you, how much cleaner it is when you just use water. You spray it down with the water, man. Rub it in. Right. To me, I prefer using water instead of like the elegance gel and conditioner. You know what I'm saying? Because the blade slips too much sometimes. Right. And then it, and then if it slips too much on the graphic, you're gonna cut off either a part of the graphic that you want, or it's gonna just, you know, affect yeah. the graphic itself. I don't really spray the the head with the water. I'll spray it first on my hand, and then I'll rub the water in into the into the outline that you already have. What I like to do is I'll just go straight in with the blade if it's a, a small graphic. Right. You feel me? Where the hair is not too long where it's just right like a one and a half or a one. I'll just go straight in with the blade. And that shout out to the Godfather too, you know what I'm saying? I would sit there and, and look at him and he, he would just do this graphics, you know what I'm saying, with with no, no T-liner. But that was a lot of people in the north side you know what I'm saying? They would just go in with the with the with the blade, you know. And there was a competition that I had that I had went into, where it was the Godfather was in it too. I was young as hell, first time, and it was it was in like a, a a competition like it is today. The competition was in an actual bar that had barber chairs, and it was the only people in the north side were the only ones doing competition. So when they seen a, a dude like me from the south side, I always started to use the the T outliner. Bro, the, the soul, the ambience in there, it was so crazy because people were standing right there next to you and they were like, oh, you know, making fun of you. Making fun of me, actually, you know what I'm saying? Oh, he's using the T-outliner. He ain't no real barber, you know what I'm saying? But once they seen what I was doing, you know, they kind of they kind of just shut the hell up because I just used it for the outline and then I just went in straight with the blade. So that was, that was a crazy experience, you know what I'm saying? And then what I did, I, I used like a little color pencil because I did like a, a female's face behind uh, you know on, at, at the competition and then I you I put little horns in her hair and then I put like a, a tail like with a with, with a you know what I'm saying oh, yeah, with, with like an cool. arrow yeah, you know what I'm cool. saying and then I, I I colored it in with like a, a color pencil and they disqualified me for using color so yeah. so it was like it's not like how it is today you could use color yeah, and stuff like that yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying yeah. yeah and everybody was doing the same thing at the competition the only other person doing something different was the godfather and he was doing he did letters you know what I'm saying he did like a name or something you know what I'm saying and nobody could really do letters at the time so that was the first time I actually seen the Godfather do letter lettering, so then that's when I said, man, I, at that competition, I was like, man, that, yeah. that's gonna be my next thing. I'm gonna do some letters Dang, better than that. That's dope. You that's know what I'm mean. saying? Yeah. So then, instead of doing lettering separate on the head, I just started doing it like if it was a tagging. You know what I'm saying? Right. The Chicago, the Chicago so, tagging. So the Chicago yeah. tagging. You know yeah. what I'm saying? With the arrows, with the bubbles. Right. You know what I'm saying? Things change and the the game changes and with change, you gotta change yourself. You gotta change your 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 whole style, your whole everything. Every year, maybe a haircut is in style for a year, but then after that year, the hairstyle changes. Now, now you gotta learn you that gotta hairstyle. Stay with, with so, every trend, yeah. So, and when I first introduced that to my customers, it was like you know nobody really wanted it, nobody used it, so it was new to them. So they'd be like, nah, you know, I don't want that. But now everybody uses it. You feel me? Right, right. And you got you got you got to adapt to your environment. And I give it to you, bro. You know what? You held on to the barber game from from '98, bro, and, and, and kept it going heavy as hell, man. You know, uh, while I was gonna be with us, uh, with, with some interviews that we're doing, man. You'll probably see some interviews even with him by yourself. This is Wallo in the cut, Eddie, aka Floor Money. Floor Money. If there ain't no money, if there ain't no hair on the floor, ain't no money being ain't made. Ain't no money being made. You feel me? So. uh Thank you, my brother. No, no problem, Appreciate man. Appreciate you, Mr. Spirit, behind uh, the Clippers. Real quick, I want to send a shout out to a few of the shops that I've worked at, you know, which is obviously exclusive. The Godfather himself. I want to send a shout out to Hall of Fades, Millennium Cuts, Official Cuts, and every other shop I've worked at, you know what I'm saying? If it wasn't for me working there, I wouldn't be where I'm at today. And uh, it's been a blessing to still be here, you know what I'm saying? And keeping up with all this new young talent that's out there. Man, man. Peace, my bro. Make sure y'all follow me on IG at wallow underscore in the cup. Make sure y'all follow me to see all the work that's up there. Y'all can choose. Let wallow me know. in the cut like what, baby? Shout out to Mr. Superior. Follow him too. Stay tuned. Mr. Superior behind the Clippers. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode.
Make sure y'all stay safe out there during these crazy times.